So I just finished waxing and again I'm regretting that I waited so long to go wax. But yeah, I'm really excited for my natural hair again. Self-care, mental health day, just relax, get back to myself. Curly Sue is back. Oh, let me get pretty growing. Hi beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm just showing you how I reset and take time to prioritize my mental health. When I'm doing this, especially when I'm having special days, designated for me to take care of myself, my home, and everything that's in my surroundings. If my home doesn't feel well, if it's not super clean, I feel a bit off and I just love cleaning. Cleaning for me is super therapeutical. Cleaning really helps me to get out of my head and just be present and be in the moment. It's something that's so therapeutical and I just love it. So I'm cleaning my whole house and once I finish cleaning everything, changing the bed sheets, I made breakfast and went ahead and did some skincare. That there was coconut oil. And I'm just playing some music, listening to some good chill songs from snow, drinking water to stay hydrated and just taking care of my full body. So my house is clean, my body feels refreshed, nice and clean as well before getting ready to leave the house. And this day was the last time wearing my braids so I just wanted to go through and actually wrap my hair in a turban and just make it quite simple with the baby hairs. Nothing too fancy, something real easy because I wasn't wearing any makeup today anyway. And what I did to include some self-care was go and get waxed and here is exactly where I wax in The Hague. I was just walking past and I found this park. It seems like a vibe. Let's walk down this way. That's what caught my eye. <laughs> These flowers here. Beautiful. Hi beautiful people. So I just finished waxing and again I'm regretting that I waited so long to go wax. However, I do it every time and we're now going to go I think and walk into the city and get a bubble Something I like doing when I'm just having like a mental health day and just taking time for myself is going on a little solo date This day I just got a quick drink outside, tried something new and I decided to go with the bubble milk tea creme brulee It was really good so if you ever there, give it definitely a try Now on the hunt for a spiritual shop I went to a few months ago or maybe more than a year ago a friend of mine I think it's somewhere in one of these like cute streets somewhere here but which one I am not sure let's see if we find it I'm feeling like it might be in this street and not the one I was just in but I still am not sure I found it and I had a feeling it would be closed because it is Monday but it's this place I wanted to go but Monday they're closed. Okay, we'll have to come back then another time. I really want to get Palo Santo. Another thing I really like doing as well while I'm having mental health days or if I just want to get out of my head and really be present is just go out, walk around, window shop, see what's new, see what I can find. And this day I went to episode and these were just some things I thought that were really beautiful. I didn't buy anything while I was there. Um, but I was just thinking what I could use, what I would like to create, so it's always good to have. And after that, I just window shopped a bit. Walking in the bookstore just feels so good. Looking at books, smelling books, I just literally am obsessed with books. So I spent some time there as well on my day. I'm back home now from going to The Hague to wax the Brazilian area. I don't think it's TMI. It just it is what it is and it went well however i think you can see i mentioned in the park not to be like me and wait forever to go back to get waxed i think the last time i went to get waxed was a little bit over than over two months i think maybe two months and two weeks since i last got waxed from today but 
Yeah, I didn't need to. Um, well, I didn't feel to. And every time I wanted to, my appointments and the time that I want to go, because where I go, I get discount, or you get discount if you go between one and four. And if I wanted to go a few weeks ago and I wanted to, I had to work. And then it just wasn't working, so I didn't go. And also because I'm kind of on a celibacy journey, yeah, I don't have a need to do it because I'm the only one seeing that area. Again, that might be TMI for some people, but it is what it is. I just have two left. Oh my god, I haven't seen my hair because I'm doing this just by feeling, but and I haven't gotten up from my seat since I sat down. Can you imagine? It's now 7:28. I haven't eaten as yet neither. And I started my hair at 5:15. So we're like 2 hours in and we have two left. I thought I would show you quickly what I do. So I actually cut the bottom half of the braid and then I have this and then I have like the opening here so then I just go ahead and take like a rattle tail comb and do this a bit and when it gets to a part I just go ahead and open it up with my fingers and I've been watching and catching up on some videos I haven't watched in forever so it's so nice that I got to just sit down, watch YouTube videos, support people that I normally watch. Where she did my braids, she did like the feeding method where she braided my natural hair and also it was knotless and feeding method. So she started the braid off by braiding my hair and then adding hair in as she was braiding. When I'm like taking it out sometime, hair just pops out. I'm so thankful though. I caught up on a lot of videos. I didn't comment because my hands are really oily. So I didn't want to really touch my laptop a lot and touch things. Otherwise everything will be messy and I clean today. So that would defeat the purpose. I'm now thinking that this would probably be a really good business to open. Like you have businesses to put braids in, but you don't have any to take them out, or at least I don't think. Imagine you had one that really focused on taking out the braids and treating it after you had braids in for natural hair, here in Holland, or I don't know, maybe they have it in the world, I don't know. That would be a cool concept to have. Hmm. Yeah, I'm almost at the base now, and what I'm doing is just going ahead and taking it all out. And as you can see, like I have a bunch of product build up and, and, and all that stuff there. I'm just going to take it now and slide it down. And I haven't been combing my hair out after I take it out. I've just been like leaving all the parts. You can see in the front here, I can't see it myself, but it probably maybe looks a bit yucky, but that's just what happens when you have braids and you don't wash your hair. You have a lot of like hair just holding on here, like dead hair. Yeah, I'm almost done. I don't have braids no more. Ah, I miss my braids. But I am so happy to like wash my hair tomorrow. I have a whole day planned, so stay tuned for that to continue seeing what I'm going to do. But you most probably would see it in the title already anyway. But yeah, I'm really excited for my natural hair again. I have a lot of ideas of things I want to do to my hair, how I want to style it, some things coming up soon around natural hair. So yeah, I'm really excited and looking forward to that. <sighs> Almost done, and then I can eat something. This is the last one. The last braid. <gasps> I have hair and oil. I got it in Curacao years ago. I was supposed to use it on my face and my skin, but I didn't. I'm just going to use that now to oil my scalp and just massage my hair and my head. I'm so thankful I cooked yesterday. And I don't have to cook today. Can I lay with you outside? Can I touch your lips with mine? Cause I need you now. Don't wanna leave, I just wanna be here by your side. You make me feel I believe that we in paradise. Cause I don't feel the ground. 
I made yesterday a mushroom pesto pasta that I'm going to have with some cheese just now. It's so good and I just warmed it up and I'm so thankful that I have it because I don't have to cook. Self-care, mental health day, just relax, get back to myself, clean the house so I can feel good, do my hair. I think I'm going to also put on a mask just so I can breathe and relax and just watch some videos and tomorrow I'll do my hair. You'll see more about that then. I've been off of social media since last week Friday. Yeah, last week Friday evening was the last time I was on social media because I didn't take time off the week before. I usually take one day a week off of social media completely every week just so I can make sure that I'm having a good balance and not being on social media all the time. So I decided to go ahead and take it on Saturday, my time for last week. And then Sunday, my time for the week that just passed, if that makes sense to you. And then today for this week. So I had three days off of social media. I feel really good. I almost went on Instagram today. <laughs> so I think it's really important how you actually detangle your hair. If you go ahead and detangle it while you're taking out the hair, you're actually going to be pulling a lot more hair, I feel like. So here you can see the technique that I'm using, using a lot of water, a lot of different combs and brushes, and also finger detangling even, just to take out any extra knots. As you can see there, there was quite a few. Putting more water to stay hydrated and hydrate my hair again, and just twisting that up to put it out of the way. These are just some products I had left over that I used to put in my hair. Just a simple shampoo, deep conditioner, and conditioner. And I'm just unwinding here at my Palo Santo. <laughs> Winding down after a long day and taking some time off for myself was so good today. And just making sure that I get everything done that I needed to. So I'm really thankful to be here in bed right now with my hair out, freshly washed, fresh sheets. My body just feels like, it just restarted. It feels so good to have this done. I feel like I really needed it. And I'm now going to unwind and read this book that I started to read a few days ago at this point. It's called Spiritual Growth and it's Being Your Higher Self. I started it a few days ago and I'm currently on this part chapter three i didn't finish it as yet and again with my highlighter <laughs> but i have right here i'm going to read that and enjoy some tea i've really been enjoying the ones from the yogi collection because they have okay i'm just being very risky but okay i'll be fine because they have these quotes on the tea bags and i really love them so the one from today, it says, love without trust is a river without water. That is so true. And the one that I have now, it is berry hibiscus. And I just put a bit of honey inside of it. And I'm going to leave that steep a bit longer. Put that to the side here. And I also have some water and I'm just going to relax. Relax in bed, read this book, and wind down. Hi, beautiful people. Here are the birds in the background, the parrots. It's parrots for sure. They sound so beautiful. But okay, I'm here in Den Haag, and I wanted to show you. I'm already ready for my day, and the first thing I have to do today on my kind of like mental health revamping, taking time for myself, is to go do my hair. I took my braids out, and today I'm going to fix curls to see what they'll say. I actually went last year and I got my hair cut by the owner. However, this time when I'm going, I'm actually going for like a whole hair analysis, see what they say. So the appointment I have is a vitamin treatment, hair advice, and to cut my hair in a shape. And I have mine with Chelsea. So that's one of the stylists that they have at the salon. I'm interested. I am interested to see how it will go. I'm ready to cut my hair, style my hair, and see my curls because I haven't seen my curls almost in two months can you imagine so yeah it's starting at 11 o'clock my appointment is it's currently where are these parrots they sound so beautiful i hope you can hear them it's currently 10 48 and my appointment is for 11 however yeah i'm really excited and i have my things because i'm going to go on a cafe date let me just show you 
have my things here as well. I'm going to go on a cafe date with myself later, a little solo date just to spend some time outside, treat myself, process my feelings and have a beautiful day because starting tomorrow I go back to work. But anyway, let's go ahead and start to walk our way to the salon because I also need to go to the toilet before doing my hair. But there's some here. Hi birdie. Oh, and over there. One is there and one is here. Okay. Oh, it just went really fast. <laughs> a quick little appearance. But today in Holland it's like sunny. It's it's not sunny, it's overcast, but quite humid. So I put on a cute blouse and I have on slippers. I'm leaving my toes breed. <laughs> They're getting some air. And I wanted to show you, I just flat my hair up. So my hair is like this. Nothing. Nothing too fancy. Just in twist. I feel like my outfit it looks a bit underdone, but it's okay. When I'm finished, I'ma look popping. Curls will be bouncing. <laughs> Curly Sue is back. I missed my hair. Oh my gosh. What do you think? Fresh out of the salon. And I tried to go for a shape. I'll insert a picture now so you can see. That's the shape that's my ideal shape that I'm working towards having. But I'm I'm thankful to see my curls again and to see how they look. I love them. I think they're really pretty and it smells nice as well. I have a lot of like advice. Now we're going to go on a date. So let's go on a date by ourselves. <laughs> I also went walking around the city a bit. Not too far, just a walk from Spy to like Den Haag Central and walk to my destination, which was Lavendi for the day. I realized a while ago that I have an obsession with pancakes and I decided I'm going to share the best pancakes in town on my Instagram, on my socials because I do know some places that have the best pancakes and I think everyone should also get to know them as well. Of course, we cannot forget a good solo date and a mental health day. This way, I just feel in my own energy. In oh, let me get to the ground. <laughs> I hope you can see me fine. I think you can. But I just feel good to sit down here in this little spot now, actually. It feels so good. Today was a good day. It was a good day. I, as you saw, I went out to get my hair done. Then I went on a solo date. The cafe that I went to, I really like, is one of my favorites. Now in The Hague, Lavendi. They have the best pancakes and also really good coffee. So if you're looking for like a cute spot that's like in a quite central location, I would advise you go there. However, you've seen how beautiful it looks on the inside and also why I ate. And now I'm home. Oh, I should also mention they actually close, they actually close at four o'clock. So if you're working there, you don't need to leave around that time. I think I was there for about four hours in total because I left around 12 something from doing my hair. And I stood there until four, just by them, just hanging out, working on a new, a uh, video I want to upload today, tomorrow, tomorrow, most probably. Journaling, people watching, just spending some time outside because I've been in the house quite a lot lately and not really going out. So it was nice to take myself on a solo date. Get some time to just be outside and be around people it was really good. And also spend time with myself so I can really have a kind of zen moment. And yeah. This is my hair, I should also say, look at my hair. Now that I'm home, what do we think about the shape? I think tomorrow it'll look better. I really don't like first day hair, but she did blow dry my hair as well with a blow dryer. Thank uh, you for watching the video so far. It's just me like taking some days to mentally reset myself, especially since it is Mental Health Awareness Month. I think these kind of days you should have every month 
or at least every week even a time where you can prioritize your yourself if you have to go and get your hair done go to get waxed treat yourself to some new products I think it's really important to take the time out and I notice the more time like this I take for myself, even cleaning my house, that's number one. Cleaning my house, as I mentioned, is like my number one therapeutical thing to do. I love doing it because when my house feels clean and feels all put together, fresh sheets, the bathroom is all cleaned, then I also feel really good. Once every month taking a real deep mental health day for yourself is needed. Just put that into your, into your planning and scheduling and if not just do it <laughs> just do it if you're not like a person like me that likes to plan everything out but i just thought i would come by here and show you some products i got i won't really talk much about scrolls and how my experience was by them in this video i think i will post a video where i style my hair using the products and things that they kind of taught me just in a video by itself and also sharing my experience in that video just to make sure that it's not too all over the place the video that i'm posting so i just wanted to show you some products i ordered from my hair shop and nl my hair shop and nl they have the best deals the prices are really good compared to all the other places if you order before 11 o'clock you get the products the next day at home and i just want to show you what i got because these are kind of my Products I always use and products I like to have. So, first thing I got was this curling puree from Afro Love. I've never, I have, I can't lie, I have used this, but only a real little bit of it. A friend of mine uses it and she really likes it. She loves it on her hair. So I got this to try out for my own, just to have as like a creaming curling puree. Always good to have, I feel like. But I will show you in a new video or video in the future, how I use it and how I style this product in my hair. And it's from Afro Love. I got this. Then I also got the Style Icon Aloe Vera uh, Styling Gel. This one is also CG approved. Then I also got the Aunt Jackie Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. This is one of my favorite things to have. I love this on my hair. Um, yeah, I love it on my hair. This is like my absolute favorite. And then I got this Afro Sheen fle Flexure. Texture Flex, <laughs> can't talk. I got this Afro Sheen Texture Flexing Foam. Texture Flexing Foam defines and sets hair. It's a really tall bottle actually. I got this because I want to do a lot of perm rod styles on my hair. And last but not least, I got this Wild Growth Hair Oil from HairGrownFast.com. I saw someone using it and they said that they liked it. We got to my channel. On my channel, I am I found a good flow. I found a good way of being creative and expressing myself here. So if you like this video, if you like any kind of other video on my channel, if you like vibes that are related to self-love, feminine and mental wellness, if you like vlogs, fashion, beauty, flowers, color, vibrancy, that's all me. So if you like all of that, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you aren't already, and maybe watch this video next. You can watch this video next and check out more of my channel. You can also click on that icon there to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I will definitely see you in my next video once you subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.